I went in and started looking at all the things that Donald Trump did and built before he became president. And whether it's in License the biggest, let, let me just finish, whether it's in the beginning of his career or right until he ran for president, it is, it is unparalleled. What he did from Mumbai to Dubai, et cetera, et cetera, from Scotland. And then when he was in the White House, he talked about, um, you want to talk about what he built? He rebuilt the economy. You talk about one or two percent of African Americans, they got jobs more than they've ever had under any other president. That's not under true. Let me finish. Evidently, Trump helped his supporters finally be able to see color. The black and, uh, unemployment rate and the Hispanic unemployment rate is the lowest it has ever been, and that's under President Joe Biden, uh, not Donald Trump. Joe Biden. Biden. Underrated accomplishment. Hey. A Washington, D.C. man by the name of Mark Ponder was sentenced to 63 months in prison after he pled guilty to assaulting three police officers during the January 6, 2021 assault on the U.S. Capitol. Ponder, a 56-year-old black man, was arrested in March of 2021 in Washington and pled guilty in April to assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers using a dangerous weapon. According to CBS News, federal prosecutors said that on the afternoon of January 6, as the mob of former President Donald Trump supporters descended upon the Capitol, Ponder swung a long, thin pole at a U.S. Capitol police officer responding to the rioters in the building's West Plaza. With that said... You think you were singled out because you're an African American and particularly a, a, a MAGA, you're MAGA, you're a Trump supporter, you're a patriot, you're a veteran. Do you think you were singled out because of that? Um, part of it, uh, you know, part of the black culture is always voting Democrat. Um, I went against the code, if you will, at the highest order. And so uh, the district attorney decided she wanted to send me uh, what we call as a Negro wake up call. And um, she dialed the wrong number because it didn't go through. Harrison Floyd. If he wasn't a Trumper, Steve Bannon would say he has a victim mentality. Floyd was the only defendant in the Georgia 2020 election tampering case against Donald Trump to be held without bond after surrendering to authorities. And seeing how his situation, along with Ponder's, lets us further know that systemic racism against black people in America is real, the Janine Pirro's of the world simultaneously can't acknowledge that, while not claiming to be a victim themselves, so the injustice is pinned on political ideology instead of race. Otherwise, race isn't a problem in America or something like that. Conservatives don't even see it unless it can be used to prove that Trump was a good president or the Republican Party has diversity or the left is the real racist. Michael Shore and David Schuster are coming after you. What you gonna do when they ask a simple question? Don't be like this man. Watch that video in order to prepare yourself. Or you could be like me and tell them, my architect knows Japanese.